Hello, hello, hello. Mic check, mic check. One, two, three, one, two, three. You already yes, know, you know me, 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 me. Do, re, mi, sa, lo, ba, ti, do. Are we on? Yeah, we on. We okay, on. three, three. Okay, yeah. You it's... know what it is. You know what it is. We back with the Easy Does It podcast. We moving and grooving. Grooving and moving. You already know what it is. Back with Mr. Uh, Dr. Elliot. Dr. Elliot, a.k.a. Dr. DJ Swells. No one calls me that anymore. I, I don't know why I say that either <laughs> anymore, because... DJ uh, yeah, one of my boys used to say it back in the day because I, I was in the weight room. But he'd be like, "Dr. DJ Swills," and I always put on Fifty Cent. And be like, "Yeah, just put this on. I can't listen to this Tom Petty <laughs> shit anymore. Just put put Fifty Cent on." But like, yeah, but yeah, you know who it is. It's Justin, mm-hmm. PhD. You know what I mean? Doctorate. I like to say that all the time. You know what I mean? We're here with the House Kings because that's what we are, as always. Most motherfucking Black Kings and it's bitch. That's what we are. You know what I mean? We're taking over. You guys don't understand this, but this is our year. Don't let it slide. I'm dead mm-hmm. ass with everybody, too. Do not let it slide. We have made such a motherfucking impact that if we let this slide, I will literally go to the other side. And I will make that oh, my slogan. Bro. I shit you not. Bro. I will not respect uh, it, bro. Yeah, yeah I feel We you got bro. this, bro. If we can you. fucking hold it down, we will. St- it takes one domino, bro. Yeah, bro. That's all it takes. We're going fucking crazy. We got year. it. We got and it. And don't be surprised, you. you know. Don't be surprised. And you see the progress before your eyes in a couple of years. It'd be like that. It's okay. Yeah. I understand. And you're going to lose a lot of friends, dog. I'm it's telling fine. you. Like, it's all right. You know, I'm not Respect blaming. their opinion. That's what I got to do. Yep, and keep it, it moving. You know, if you give me good criticism, I'm taking. take it. You know, I'm never going to be a person who, if you tell me something, I'm going to instantly talk shit about you and be like, shut the fuck up. You can't do blah, blah. No, yeah, because who am I to judge? You know what I mean? I'm not in that situation. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know listen, what you bro. mean, so. That might be the advice I need. That might be need, be the key I need, so. I'm and I think advice. America needs to listen to what you just said. Like, we need to take advice, criticism, bro. and that's what, and I hate to say it, I'm not against Trump supporters as much as everybody thinks. Oh. Uh, I'm this not I'm not a Trump. I'm this. not. I'm just saying. This. Anyways, all, no, 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 we're not getting political. Uh, all I'm saying is, you know why they're crying is because they don't respect our opinion. We ended up trying to respect theirs, and they just were like, nah. And now this is what we're doing. We're mad, and they see it, and they're scared. I feel like both people are fucking I'm telling doing you. what the other did, and they're doing it because the other ones did it. You know, the Trumpers are are okay, yeah, whining yeah, yeah, yeah. and crying fraud super hard because you know that's what the Democrats did. When Hillary lost, you know, and they're like, well, Shit, you, guys, when you guys, you guys, you guys did George it. Won. Look when George Bush won. You guys won. did it. You Come guys on. did it. Come on now. We can do it too. You guys complain just as much That's, as we did. Yes. Woo, 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 blah, blah, blah. And then the Democrats yep. are like, they're riding Shut the fuck it. up. Yeah, they're Remember? riding it. It's you fucking, cool. uh, you fucking we let saucies. out. We let Al Gore lose back with the Bush when you guys Holy lost face. the votes back in the fucking Florida. You know what I mean? So we're let us have this one. But how I look at it is. You guys are all blind because it doesn't matter who is really in the head of the figure. It's just a figure head for a reason. Like, Congress yeah. is who you need to get out of there. If you're yeah. really that mad, be mad at Pelosi, bro. Yeah. Don't be mad don't at Trump. Don't be mad at Obama. Time. You know what I mean? That's how I Anyways, feel. Anyways, let's switch the subject up. Yes, yeah, so let's go but, to sports. Yeah, bro. There's the one argument that we can make and, and then disagree on and be okay about. There's a lot fuck of shit politics. happening. There's a lot of shit happening, man. You got fucking the Conor McGregor. And Dustin Poirier fight tonight. That's gonna be a fucking I wanted, banger. Uh, but you, three rounds, bro. It's only going I'd say three it'll rounds. Be about two and a half. Two and a half. Go either way. To be honest, I think they're gonna let it ride it out. I think it can. I think it can go two, two, two rounds. To be honest, I think it'll go two and a half who you, rounds. Who you got winning? I feel like it's. I think McGregor, McGregor will win. I think McGregor win, but it's close. Poirier. It's really close to it. I feel like the earlier the fight, Poirier, right? The yeah. earlier the fight yeah. goes. Um, McGregor has the better chance, but the longer the fight, the, you know, the more it becomes a fight. And who's older, McGregor? Right? Know. They're probably about the I same. Say it's McGregor. I think. McGregor's I think older. they're probably about the same, same age ish. I'm going with Dustin Poirier. Yeah. Uh, Dustin's gonna get. But uh, that's not even. The, I don't even think that's gonna be the best fight on the card. The best fight on the card is gonna be Michael Chandler, Dan Hooker. In the under, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah, even. Yeah. The, it's the it's the co-main. So. Oh, is that what they're saying? Michael Michael Chandler is uh. He was the lightweight champion over at Bellator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. he he reigned supreme over at Bellator for a long time, and he's this is his first fight in the UFC, coming from champ over so there. So this is so him mainstreaming. Yep. Now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, th- getting he, he was main. Card. Yeah, he's getting, getting into the, big the card, yeah. you know the UFC leagues. now. Major league. And uh, yeah, it's it's a big test for him, you know, because Dan Hooker is top five in the lightweight division. You know, he's 
he's probably six. You can insert him anywhere. Oh, definitely. Anywhere. Yeah, definitely. You know, definitely. but he's dangerous. He's real long and linky. And Michael Chandler, you know, he's more of a. I like. I like. I like Michael. You, I, you, I, you remember? He, you remember Sean Shark? No. Okay, so pretty much his build is kind of short, buff, it, quick hands. You know, his 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 blitzes yeah. are top of the line. You yeah. know, you can't get any better than his blitzes, and he's really good at wrestling. But how's the other dude's takedown defense, though? Great. Great takedown defense. Good great great That's going to be a great, great ground match. Game. That's going to be a ground great game. fucking match, then. Great takedown defense. His it's going to be a lot on the ground, His then. striking is Subpar. up there. No, 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 no. Oh, it's, it's up nice. there with the best in UFC. But not even just the lightweight division. Dan Hooker's striking I was gonna say, is I top tier. He comes from a... Oh fuck, I can't remember the gym. He comes from the same gym as um, Israel Atasanya. It's Ooh, a fucking New Zealand, oh, it's Australia, a New Zealand. Yeah, 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 yeah. one it's of those two. You know, it's a gym out there. Europe, European one. Fuck. Yeah, it's a gym out there, and they're fucking. Uh, I know what I know. What is crazy, it? Crazy bro. and he's like Kotsky, bro. That's all I'm saying. Pretty much. Pretty That's much. all I'm saying. They're when building, I, building, he's he's so good. Long bro. living, bro. He's so long good. live. He's, he's the so new good. John Jones, bro. He's so good. John and then or who Anderson. else is who Anderson. else? Is it? It's fucking Anderson Villanovsky. I think that's his fucking name. The I think I know here. The one forty five there. The one, yeah, the light or the feather. Yeah, or not feather. Yeah, the yeah, featherweight, featherweight, featherweight. He's the one forty five er. He's the middleweight part of that camp then. too. The middleweight. Well, middleweight would middle be fighting. Israel. Israel Who's Adesanya is the middle. He's not fighting nobody. Well, yeah, right I was gonna now. say. I think he he he's actually because they always do every weight class. He's scheduled to fight the light heavyweight champion. Okay, 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 okay. Israel Adesanya. That's why. That's why. Featherweight. One Okay. Like that. Okay. But uh. Dan Hooker, it's like a Dan city Hooker. city gym. That's yeah. the name of the gym. It's okay. City Gym Australia. That's Dan Hooker, Alexander Volnowski, and a couple of the UFC fighters. And then um, Dan white Hooker's boy? tall. Dan Hooker's a tall white boy. That's Volnowski who I'm thinking of. Volnowski is the short guy who beat um, Max Holloway Ooh, twice. Ooh, Holloway, yeah, 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 yeah twice. twice. Yeah, yeah i seen the, the rematch. You know, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. That's what he beat him once. Oh, he beat man. him once. The I thought it went fight, to decision, fight, dog, didn't it? The first fight. Or they yeah, stopped. They all, no, they all no, went to decision. decision. Yeah, the he should have won it, Max, though. Max won. Max won. Yeah. Everyone thinks Max won. It's some bullshit judging. And then the second fight, you can give it to either one. Either or. one, yeah. So it's I'm split not decision. Mad. No one's mad. I'm not yeah. mad at them giving it to Volonovsky. But, yeah, bro. That's it's going to be some, dude, it's some being, really good fights. Dude, fight, I'm telling you, being a boxer, it always makes me mad when people go to decision because I'm like, and I and I know it's like don't get me wrong I've been in some fights where it's like you take it to a certain round but every fight I've ever been in it's always ended with a knockout whether it be me or them and I've been only knocked out once and that was my stupidity but I I countered when I shouldn't have and he caught me on my chin and it was like I woke up like what the fuck just happened you know what I mean I quit this is stupid I don't want to play anymore I did too my mom was like get your ass up I'm like no nah, I'm good. I quit. I'm going to football. Fuck this. They got helmets. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. this dude caught me on the chin so fucking hard. Goddamn Indian bastard. That's kind of why I like. But, uh, uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, but that, I don't, I don't it's, know. I, I like don't it. see. I like, it's, it's fucking, they go crazy, bro. I don't, I just want to, I just feel like when it goes to the decision, it just drives me nuts. Is it not, not, like, not always. Like, around. Max Holloway, Max Holloway's last fight, um, Calvin Cater, I think that's who he fought. Calvin Cater, Max Holloway, Calvin Cater. He fucking destroyed Calvin Cater. It went five rounds, and when I say it was a total domination, total they probably should have like, stopped it in like three it, it rounds. It could have been ago, stopped in yeah. the fourth, fifth, or third or fourth round. Could have been stopped. But and they just he let went it go. Crazy, bro. He broke all the records. He threw like a thousand some punches, landed, landed like, like eight hundred or seven hundred. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Went, fucking went crazy, 70%, bro. All of them were significant yeah. strikes. You know, he only missed, like, 12 punches and shit. Like, he was fucking going crazy. That's why I tell people when you play on UFC, like, online, yeah, you got those, like, instant knockouts. But play like you – fight like you fight in real life. You yeah. know what I mean? Do the the counters, block and stuff like that, and land the strikes you know you're land. But if that dude was teeing off doing a th- – can you imagine bro, a thousand there was hands? A point, there was a point in Saitama. time. Saitama. Bro, there was a point in time he, he went like this. He said, he's in the middle of fighting. He's in the middle of fighting. You know, he's throwing punches. He goes, I'm the best. Points down. I'm the best. Looks over at his friend, DC, um, DC Daniel Cormier, and the rest of the commentary group. Yeah. He looks over at them like like they're they're fighting. Making like eye this. contact. No, yeah. the fighters. Uh, Max and his opponent are this about this far away. 
he looks over at the fucking commentary and he goes, I'm the best boxer in the UFC. Wow, this dude's still dudes, trying to hit dudes. dudes. <laughs> and he's, I'm the best boxer in the UFC. Not looking. Schmack. That's Jabs when them. you Jabs know them. you're bad. Oh, yep. I'm the best. Box. I'm the best. I'm the best. And I'm like, I'm watching it, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is real life? Oh, my God. This dude isn't real. Ultra Instinct's real? That's a real Max, thing? go crazy. Bro. And, like, dude was hitting him. It was like, it was like, you know how people kind of hit Floyd? But yeah, they yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, they hit him at the end of the punch and it's like that. And, you know. They I don't moved, punch through. They bring back. You didn't. Yeah, you yeah. didn't move my head. I moved it back. Yeah, I. It, I kind of. You know, yeah, I moved it and rolled with you, it. Yeah. Exactly. Rolled no, with the this punch. dude went into. He him. was pink. He was like, nope. You ain't hitting shit. You ain't touching shit. What oh, this dude's you? open. Bow. Let me hit him real yep. quick. It's Not like, looking. While he's talking shit to the to the commentary, I'm the best. I'm the best boxer in the fucking UFC. Yo, I'm that's, number one. That's crazy. Hilarious. Bro. And Hilarious. I respect that though. And then he had a fucking uh. He had a Muhammad Ali moment when Muhammad the was shuffle. fighting uh, Lennox. No, you know how when he was fighting Lennox, Lennox kind of threw a punch, and there's a picture Lennox of Lewis. him. Like, Muhammad's fucking strolled out like this, and he's fucking like, oh. and Lennox is, like, punching way off, and he's just, like, kind of looking at him like, did you miss? Yo, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, that, he yeah, did yeah. that. It was fucking amazing. Sorry, I'm a huge Max Holloway fan. I fucking rush, It's all right. Baby. Like I said, my mom, I love that well, I'm a he George Foreman fan, so. I'm a huge George Foreman fan. That's what got me into boxing. I hate Foreman. This, bro. This. Oh, shit. Until he got real close and hit you hard as hell. That's how, bro. And and and, and, and I <laughs> shit you <laughs> not. People <laughs> laugh at me because I come, you know, I come in real close and they'll be like, "Damn, bro, that's like shell. you got long arms." But I'll, I, even though I got long arms, I fight in close because that's what George Foreman did. He would get in close, and, and the the more I could punch through, the more. <laughs> yep. But my mom like, grew up with oh, his I'm daughter you here, and I'm gonna extend my arm, and you know, you're gonna, feel that. you're gonna feel every fucking bit punch through Bruce Lee, bro. That's what I learned. Be Fuck that. Be water. You know, I keep telling people, man. Be, be straight like water. Water. Okay, water. You oh, put yo. water into a cup, it you becomes the cup. Yeah. You, know. you put water into a bucket, it becomes the bucket. I always wanted be to be water. I always be wanted to be the reporter to be like, like as he's saying that, just be like. What the what fuck, fuck are, are you, you talking, talking about? about? Yeah, like, bro. Like, like, bro, what? we're human beings. If I go like, into a cup, you gotta like, stuff me be into a water. cup. Water. Just be water. Just when you pour water cup. into the cup, it yeah. becomes the cup. And it's when like, you pour the like, water into a bucket, it becomes the bucket. <laughs> water is formless. I don't know how interviewers don't be like, He's okay. Like, you got to be water. <laughs> Yo, like, I don't like. I'm sitting there like. Yes, right. you're absolutely right. You gotta be right. formless when you're fighting. You can't be one thing. I can't be a boxer. I can't just be a kickboxer. I have to be everything. I have to be. I I'm respect that. What's your form? Water. <laughs> yeah, it's like. <laughs> oh, you're a waterbender. Okay. Okay. Oh, Southern Drive, Northern Drive. Sh- <laughs> calm down, Sokka. You ain't got no powers. But so no, I'm what? not going to lie, though. Sokka Katara. was a beast, bro. Could, Sokka clapped all the cheeks. I'll tell you right now. Everybody, Sokka clapped all the cheeks, Yes, bro. he did. He got all the bitches. He got all the but bitches. But what I tell people is you, he beat two baddest character, baddest character in Avatar right now. Go. Baddest character. What do you mean baddest? The ba- the, who who the, would win out of every okay. character in a fight in, that, in the Avatar? And that includes the fucking Avatar. Ang I'd series. probably say, um, who was Ang's teacher? Who was Ang's teacher? He had multiple teachers. It, it, well, Which his, teacher? His avatar teacher. Ro- Ro- Roku? No, it wasn't. Avatar Roku. Roku was his teacher. Avatar Roku? Yeah, okay, the spiritual Roku. world, yeah. Yeah, him. Yeah, okay. I feel You're like going with him, greatest? He, out of Technically, that was series? his, but he died and then became the avatar. What I, no, no, he became, he was the avatar and then died. He, you know, he died of old age in the fucking volcano. You know, Whoa. but but I but I feel Susan like Susan Yeah 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 Susan kinda killed left him. him. Yeah, yeah. Left him to die. He didn't yeah. kill him, he, he left, left him, him to die. die. He could have saved him. He yeah. didn't technically he didn't kill him. But no but, um yours is, is Roku. Yeah. I feel like Guitar. Roku would Why because he can flood them? Yep. The Avatar can't the, do that's that. Only if the, uh, Moon's full. If we're doing Avatar series, I have a What did series. you learn about? Okay. If we're doing Avatar, Avatar series. I was getting ready to say, what did you learn about Korra? You said but Aang. Yeah, I you did said say Aang, Aang. So you I, but, limited it yourself. But now, even then, so I believe Katara would, like, say Aang uses his turtle to go, the turtle fucking nope. take the fucking uh, shit look, away. He, she she you, would you stop. Can't, you can't, what if? You can't, what if? You Damn, you're right. I told you that. You are such a good You put the timeline on it. You put the timeline on it. You said that Aang. 
So we get. I succeed to that then. The I'm going with Katara though. So, but Roku, I'll give you that. But that's every avatar then. Every avatar is going to be the fucking boss no, I feel character. Like Roku would be the I think Combustion Man, if he did get hit Combustion by Sokka, would have been the best. Hell yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker See, was gangster. Sokka. Her, him or Toph? Sokka took him out. Toph, because she, she could metal bend. Toph would be crazy. And then her at the end of Korra series, I loved it. They they OP, tied her bro. in. Yeah, they OP. tied her in amazing. They tied everyone in it. Nice. They really did, but they don't tell you a lot about Sokka, and it makes me mad. And I'm pretty sure. He's too busy fucking. I'm pretty sure. Toph's daughters or Sokka's kids. Like I'm pretty. Yeah, there's funny. a bunch. There's of, a there's a bunch of characters yeah. that are like, and th- that's the funny part because there's just a bunch of characters randomly you meet and they're like, yeah, I want to help. My 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 dad was a a, a a warrior and he helped during the war and you know I want to. But be they just never like say him. yeah. They're like and you know everyone's kind of looking at the kid and they're like. There was only like a couple warriors. That you were look like Sokka. Sokka. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like you, you have you the same dad? color. Where's your mom? You Where's your mom from? Are you mm. from the Water Tribe? You look just, just like a Water Tribe one. You know what I mean? Because they're the darker ones. <laughs> ask they're your mom. Go home and ask your mom about Sokka. Yeah. See what she says and then come back and tell me. Let's see if she goes, mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can't hang it, out with you guys anymore. I'm sorry. This is how I learned. When I used to say my mom, my dad's name to my mom, my mom would go, <laughs> TJ. And I'd just look at her and be like, God damn, you did love him. Like, because that's when you know. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, I'm, I'm my dad's kid. You know what I mean? Type shit. Because I used to get a lot of that sperm Bro, donor shit. Like trash. I didn't. Uh, yeah, I'm not too I fond of them. Where'd you get it from? Went to gas station. You got to get the backwoods They've from been there. they trash. No, everything's been trash up there lately. Bro. Really? Real, real low stale. Like it's been sitting up on in the back for a while. I smoked with this dude the other day. He had the Russian cream. It was pretty dope. It was pretty fresh. The Russian cream ones. But I feel like those are the ones that go out the most. But the other backwoods, I couldn't tell you about the honeys or whatever the fucking ones they have, the regular ones. I like the honey bourbon, the Russian cream. The Russian cream is the only one I really like. And there's one more I just can't roll them, bro. Bourbon. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> it's like not I, hard. I, yo, even my brother used to make fun of me for you that roll shit. It like it so no, you roll it like a swisher. No, you roll it like a game. I thought it was like a game to him. Same thing. Yeah. yeah. So naturally. Naturally, yeah. That's like the difference between a wide out. You know how someone would be like, oh, I can roll a wide, wide out. And, and, then and then you look at them like, so you can roll a Swisher, sure. a Philly. You know, you Philly can roll. Philly is what I would think. You can you roll a motherfucking a cigar. a cigar. You can roll a cigarello. Not a fucking. So you know backwood I mean? in the game. Leaves, the actual leaves. The leaves that's where you called. peel them. Yeah, it, that's where I had my trouble because like, they're so soft. Though. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know what I mean? That's where you have to wet them so much. That was where I would always fuck up, too. Yeah. I know motherfuckers would dip that shit in some fucking, you know what I mean? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to clean it. I just, I just forgot. Nasty. It's real nasty. It's real nasty. You're supposed to get away underneath the sink or if you got some water, pour some water on top of it. Shout out my cousin. Every time we used to smoke like White Owls and shit, he always took the extra, you know what I mean? Little, uh, little bullshit off. Yeah, the little extra leaf, I guess I call it, but it's the shitty, like, manufactured tobacco leaf. It's not the actual tobacco leaf or cigar leaf, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he always he used, to, he used to get mad at me because when I'd fucking crack the blunt, he'd be like, bro, you didn't peel it? And I'm like, I cracked it. What the fuck you mean, peel it? And I'd watch him and he'd fucking, after I crack it, he'd fucking peel it. And then he'd use the outside leaf, not the inside. And I'm like, I didn't even know that, bro. He's like, because like, you were gro- <laughs> you were raised in Charlestown, <laughs> white boy. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, you're right. I know how to, I could roll a joint like a motherfucker, though. Shit, I do that one handed. I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, but that's I, when it came to blunts. That's why when you come out, you be like, bro. I'll be like, I know, I know. I'm not mad at you. I understand. I'm not the greatest at blunts. I get them. I hate when grown potheads be like, yeah, I can't roll up. I can like, roll. It's just like if you're like looking at me while like I'm my, doing it. My I'll uncle, like, bro. My uncle. Oh my god. Shout out to your uncle. Bro. He's, He's so dude. funny, bro. He's They're literally, fucking hilarious. Literally, we was, last time we was fucking. Smoking and shit, and he was like, you know, I was like, okay, I said, Gary, he was like, yeah, me too, me too. And I fucking like, here, here's a blunt, here's one. Here's a weed, roll up, man. You know, when we're doing some shit, we're doing podcasts and some shit, and, bro, it yeah. took, yeah. Yeah, we get it. it took fucking, uh, he didn't roll up, actually, he, he didn't roll up. We were there for like two and a half hours afterwards. He just, yeah, he was he just saying. Roll up. He, he didn't roll up. I was like, come on, roll up, roll up. He's like, nah, nah, nah. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I don't really roll up. Come on, roll up. I want to smoke. F you. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to. You roll up. I'm not rolling yeah, up. Yeah, you adamant. Like, nah, I want to see you roll up real yeah. quick. I used to make motherfuckers go in the other room, bro. 
when I first started rolling, they, I, I used to be so self-conscious. I would literally go in the other room and roll the blunt, and somebody, like, my ex would come in, and she'd be like, hey, so did you roll? I'm like, get the fuck out. What are you doing? I got to fucking start all over again. What the fuck? And she'd be like, what the fuck is your problem? I was so self-conscious, but, like, now it's not a problem. But if I do see somebody watching how I do roll up, I do be getting self-conscious because I might feel like I lick it different or I fucking tuck it different, and I'm like, they're judging me. Uh, just, I don't know. I never understood that. But if you give me a joint, I don't feel no. I'll, I'll like talk to you, talk shit to you, like do it one handed and like act like the same, the same <coughs> fucking thing, bro. I don't know. I, I just feel like blunts. I riff easier. I guess. I feel like if you can roll a blunt, you should definitely. Or if you can roll a joint, you should definitely be able to roll a blunt. Nah, I could roll blunts before I can roll joint. Uh, or no, nah, you're right. I can roll joints before blunts. You're right. I guess you're right. I guess I just felt like I guess more. I was more intimidated. That is wild. I never thought about that. The fuck else we gonna talk about today? What the fuck you been? Shit. So how's your war zone going, bruh? I haven't really been playing Warzone. Me neither. I've been on Destiny. <laughs> I can't do Destiny, bro. I'm so far behind. I don't even think it's worth it. It's not that bad. I just started. I'd have to grind way the fuck up. I think the last one I leveled no, they off put at the first you, level. They automatically cap. put you at 1,050. Jesus. And then the cap, the cap is 135 or something. Last time I played that The cap game. is 12. 60, and then you anything after 1260, you have to actually play. Like, you gotta be like a sweat. You, know, you gotta win like 150 yeah. matches. Yeah, you know, fucking go in there and just You gotta dominate. kill a thousand enemies. I I you gotta get 182 360 headshots with well, this specific gun. Yeah, what and was, then that gets you this quest. What was the King's Raid, bro? That was the last one I did, bro. Whatever it was. The, Fucking, that was literally the, the last time I played Destiny. The very first DLC, I think. Yeah. That's the best time I played. Couldn't bro. tell you, man. If I had my homie Riley on, he's the Lord King. Is he like that? Is that yeah, he's, shout he's out, our man. Lord King. I can't. He, do that. He's the he's the fucking he's the character. We'll be go, we'll be in a fucking strike and shit. The next thing you know, he'll be like, Guardians. <laughs> this is mine. Don't worry. <laughs> Guardians. Is he the, a hunter? The, the Lord. Yeah, he's a hunter. I uh, bet. <laughs> Guardians. I lie, yeah. The Lord behind the mission we're doing is <laughs> Sabathun and her sisters. Like my boy with the Witcher, bro. My boy with the Witcher it's, knew the lore and everything, best, and I was like, bro. it's it's the best. I when love the it, show bro. came out, he had to explain shit to me because I was like, what the it's fuck funny. is going on? It's he's funny like, as fuck, bro. I love it when he gets into that mode. He'd be like. So what we're doing is we're killing a general, <laughs> the general of Sabathun. And if we don't kill her, she will open a portal in an army of millions. My cousin Casey's <laughs> like that. Will come out. And I, we're fucking killing him. And he's like, yes, kill them. Murder. <laughs> Murder. My and boy. We will kill them for you, sir. <laughs> we got Whatever you. you say. Yeah, we are just your minions. We do we're what like you God. ask. Yo, I get yo. You want me to slaughter next? Honestly, I can't even lie. My it's boy, my boy, like it's my the boy, It's the funniest we, shit. We used to play. Shout out skate. to Winner, man. Follow him. Like, subscribe, Twitch. Definitely, if he's killing it uh, like that. Facebook, <laughs> MN Winner. Yo, Winner you need is to put more. If if he's yeah. really telling me how he's you're legit, you're saying bro. shit while you're playing, you need to put that content into your Twitch because that's legit. hilarious. He does. He does that shit on. You're Twitch. amazing, and you should be fucking followed by more people. Then that's hilarious. You know, I will look that shit up. He's too, one of the yo. kings yeah. in HOK. It's the shit. You can find it on our fucking page. That's 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 dope, bro. That's something I gotta do. I can't kill all the enemies. I'm not gonna do. I gotta find a game I'm good at, bro. I can't. Besides RPGs, I don't really have anything that's like competitively good. RPGs. <sighs> yeah, but I'm not. Bro, like, literally. I want to be competitive. Anything to. Well, I know. Anything. Honestly, you want to know what I'm dope at, and I'm not even gonna lie to you all. Like, you I'm the slide, the slide, uh, the Mario the slide 35. Games. Mario 35. You heard of it with oh. the, on the Switch? It's just the very first Mario. You play every level of Mario constantly until everybody dies. But you get like the more people, like the more Goombas and Turtles you jump on, you get time. So you get like plus two seconds and stuff. You start off with 30 seconds, yeah. and the more enemies you kill, the more time you get. More power ups you get, the plus time and shit. But you got to keep running through every level without dying. You can lose your power ups, but you cannot die. Once you yeah. die, you're knocked out. Every time you attack an enemy, you can send it to the other people, and it can stack their whole level up. Like you could have Bowser in the very first level. Don't play Tetris. 
No, it's like Mario, but you just run through the level, yeah. and then you just have enemies that get sent from other people's screen to yours. So if somebody's in the level beating Bowser and say you're running through the first level again, yeah. they send Bowser to your level. Next thing you know, you're getting ready to jump on a pipe. Bowser's sitting there shooting shit at you. And you're like, oh, shit. And then you use your fire power to get him out. But if he hits you, you turn small. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You hit you, then you're and out. then you're dead. And then you okay. lose. Yeah. It's so like they fucking they made a competition out of Mario. They battle royale. Yep. They made a battle royale out of Mario, bro. The very first Mario. And I am literally like out of. What game? Where's that at? Switch. It's free to play. Switch. Oh. Nintendo Switch, bro. Like the Nintendo shop. Yeah. East or Nintendo in shop. stream that shit, bro. But I'm telling you, I'm nice. I mean, I, I come in second a lot, too, because there's people that will like. I don't know. They just they time the jumps a lot better than I do. So we'll, we'll do it. Or <laughs> but I, I feel yeah. like a, what I see randomly that's really fucking popular is uh like them fucking IO games, them little like string games. You know, it's like fucking two characters and they're fucking strings and you got to get them across the fucking uh a world. Oh yeah, 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 shit, yeah. You know, and it's a slide. It's a side. Uh, like unravel shit. and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm talking yeah, about yeah, Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We're playing that. Yeah. Like that, that was shit. a dope ass game. That was on so yeah. many levels. I was like There's a lot of fucking uh or little nightmares. Mm -hmm. That was like that's that a, a lot of people watching that type of game. Yeah, that is true. I like the um I just can't fucking play this game. I I just don't feel like I could wake up every day and play the same shit over and over again cuz I get bored you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I'll go hard on some Apex, and then the next thing you know, I don't play for two weeks. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a same parent, way. too, but same I'm same way. Fuck that. I'm done. And we're all, like, play Final Fantasy VIII from, like, 1998. You know what I mean? For, like... I played it... Actually, the other day, I played it until I got to, uh... I think it's, like, the second disc, I want to say. I got to, and I just stopped playing. And I literally... But I went hard on it. Jacob laughed at me because he was like, I did the same thing with Final Fantasy IX. I played, like, fucking three hours of it. Was so into it. He's like, I leveled my dude up so much, and then I just stopped playing. I was like, because you know how it ends. Mm -hmm. You're like, dude, you're going to be done. You can play it so many different ways, but you always know how it ends, dude. It's I was like, but I've been getting bored with that shit. Even the, like, Call of Duty, like, the DMR really got, like, that shit shot by interest in Warzone lately. Fuck that Why? DMR. Gotta get it. No, 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 no. You need a Go DMR, there. bro. You're a fucking pussy. That's like. I've got it. And it's pretty nice. I bet. Is it amazing? Pe mm -hmm. I mean, my boy Merc drops it for me. He'll be like, here, Justin, use it. And I'm not going to lie. It's a nice fucking gun, but it makes me mad because it's like. It's so it's so OP, bro. But I will say that Mac 10 is. I will say yeah, I do DMR enjoy that. The Mac 10 That's is what I do weapon. enjoy. I love that motherfucking Mac 10. I'll be wrecking dudes with that. Who's going to the Super Bowl this year? Kansas City Chiefs. How many games are left? I stopped watching after the first two playoffs. Fuck that. Uh, Championships. Would say two, four. There's eight teams. Or there's one. There's two games that four are. Four teams left. I guess there's three games left. Well, is it the they NFC Championship people, yet? Yep, NFC AFC, AFC Championship. championship. So there's four teams left. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you four go. Teams. Okay. Yeah. So. It's, it's the, the Bills, Bills versus. Tampa Bay. I don't even AKA feel like that's real Tom right Tom Brady. Now. TB. Tom Brady. Y'all y'all slept on him. I'm so. Y'all, first of all. Not, I'm not saying you. All, I'm just saying. All, yo. I've been the guy in the back screaming, Tom Brady's still going to the Super Bowl. He's. With all my friends. He's an all-star quarterback, Everyone's bro. like, every time I bring up uh, Tom Brady uh, for the Super Bowl, everyone's like, shut the fuck up. He's not with the he's, Patriots he's, he's, anymore. Stop. He's fucking sucks. He's horrible. And he's it's like, horrible. you guys sucked his balls like, until, bro. like, last year. And now that he's with a different team, you're like, he's First horrible? Of all, like, my guy TB12 is how many the rings? fucking GOAT. VPs? Like, come on, bro. You cannot tell me this dude's going to go to a different team and not contend for a Super Bowl. But then you're going to cry when Drew Brees retires? Shut your mouth. But I feel like he might lose. So like he might lose. I'm not going to say he won't, but he's going to be there three more times before he retires. The Bills are hungry as fuck. They right fucking now. better be. They've been fucking dis Dude, they have been disappointing. Uh, what is it? Buffalo? For how long? Or no, the no, no, 70s? No, he, no, 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 no. My bad. My bad. My bad. TB12 is playing Aaron Rodgers. Oh, Green Bay. Yeah. Green Bay. Yeah, because they're in the NFC. Mm -hmm. AFC is the Bills and who? Chiefs. Chiefs, yeah. yeah. 
They said every 27 years the Bills and Chiefs play for play. the season championship. That, does, that is and true. And if you look. That is true. Yeah, I was going to say. The also, last another thing we got to talk about, the one great, you know, we were talking about him earlier, Kobe. You know, he today is the day he scored 81. Yes. Um, Jalen Rose, I understand your barber is nice and you got a clean cut. The wave with but, the – But we ain't forget on, Kobe bro. dropped 81 on your neck, bro. We ain't forget that. We, we know we you were the Fab that, Five, but we, he destroyed we, it. We not going to forget that. We he get said, it. bro, you shouldn't have been playing the SNES when you we were get in it. that trap house. I'm going to drop you know, 81. That's all I'm saying. He And the crazy yeah. thing is – I respect Jalen. They though. barely won nice. type shit. But yeah, that th- yo, yeah, well, I remember that Kobe was, he was amazing when I was a kid, dude. He's the reason why my mom drinks Sprite. I shit you it, not. My mom was like, "Is that Kobe? Oh, I might have to try Sprite now." I'm like, "What the fuck?" Because you see this dude dunk, and but then she, my mom's a huge basketball fan, yeah. so she would start watching his games, and you know what I mean. She was just, she was shocked. Where'd he go, Charlotte at first? Where'd he go? Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm a huge Charlotte Hornets fan. I was a Muggsy Bow fan. Muggsy Bow, shout out the shortest fuck, one of the shortest players besides I Spud think he Webb. Was the shortest. Yeah, he was four eleven. Muggsy Bow is the 4'11, shortest. Four eleven. Yeah, he, uh, him and Spud Webb. Spud Webb's five two. <clears throat> but uh, same, he was on the same team. Uh, I think it was the. No, the Hawks. The Hawks was Spud Webb. No. No, you're right. Shit. Philly. Uh, Muggsy Bow's. I think it was. He was on the Charlotte Hornets. Washington. Yes, he was on the Hornets. But I think you're right. But Washington, he got, he yeah. got traded. He got traded, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, after uh, the and 90s. He yeah. was the same. He was on the same team as uh, Bull Bull. The tallest. Oh, the tallest NBA uh, player. center. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The team yeah. who caught fire one night and hit six, six three-pointers. Yeah, out of nowhere. Yeah. Just the fuck out of there. But and see, they were all from like 40 feet, bro. 40, they yeah. even, 40 they, they 41, the 43, line. They were 42. Dude, no, a couple get of them were corner shots, yeah, but most of them were like logo. <laughs> oh, no. I got this. Don't oh, worry no. about it. Yo, shout out Muggsy though, Baltimore, bro. I feel you. That him and uh Carmelo, they used to fucking. I used to hear that name growing up because my uncle used to <laughs> cop dope Ooh, down Mello. the corner. Yep, he used to cop dope down the corner off Lexington where Melo used to fucking hoop, and then Melo ended up fucking going to Syracuse. Yeah. And I'd always hear stories about yeah, Melo used to play on this court. And I'd be like, I tell my cousin, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Carmelo didn't play this court, and then, like, one random fucking day, you know what I mean? Carmelo he's, like, up. no, well, his, yeah, his aunt, like, lived down there, I guess, or some bullshit. I go, because they're, they're not from Baltimore, but he moved to Baltimore. Yeah. I want to say he's from, like, Akron or something. I can't remember where he's actually from, but he moved to Baltimore, but the aunt still lived down there. Yeah, and he's seen the aunt, and uh, he fucking made me walk up and ask the aunt, and she showed me pictures and shit. I never met him, but that shit was... I, like my my cousin like Rome like he was on it dude he was like he's you, like, you called me a fucking liar and a fucking liar smack the <laughs> shit out <laughs> you cuz hi excuse me miss um miss Daisy yeah I yeah know, nice I, as shit I, hit I, his white voice I know, real quick I, I'm not I, I don't mean to scare you I don't want to bother you but I got I got my cousin somebody. keeps calling my me a liar he keeps calling yeah. me a, a liar and doesn't believe that uh this we is Carmelo's this court yeah. and he played he plays here and this is this is this is him you know and I just figured you'd be the pers- perfect person to crack me up to talk bro. to him. Cracks me up, man. He, oh, yeah, I just, man, you see yeah, some she, she was nice as shit too. You go in there, get some cookies, some fucking tea and shit. That was back in the day when hospitality was hospitality. Like when yeah. I came in her house, I yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Yes, I'll eat your cookies. Yes, I'll drink your tea. Whoa. They're dry as shit. Oh, you eat the lady. Wait, wait, what happened? Oh, not those cookies. Whoa, 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 old lady, Are you bro. Okay? Come Are you on, trying to tell the aunt, no, it's all right. It's all right. The aunt was like, it's 60. all right, bro. It's all right, bro. It's all right. I think I was like eleven too. Yeah, so. I probably wouldn't have known what cookies were. You, you finally trying to get over? Should I be questioning my cousin now? Like, <laughs> shit, why did we go inside that house uh, now? She could have easily just said yes and let us go about our day. Yeah, you're right now. I'm a little fucking odd. You trying to Because he something? was, he's just 10 keep years. about it. Maybe you, you suppressed the memory. He's like you know? 9 or 10 years older than me, so you're probably fucking right. Because I used to call uh, that dude a liar all the time. Oh, you uh, think you a dope boy, but you fucking liar. You a goddamn liar. He was a dope. He's locked up. Shout out, Rome, though. You get out two years from now. I can't wait to see you get out. You better do good, though. I'm telling you. I feel you, man. My pop is finna get out. Yeah, shout out to that. He on the the home stretch, man. He on the home stretch. He got puppies. Respect. Trying to get to boot camp. Really? Yeah. Just minimum shit. Get away from that maximum. Yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. Get away from that maximum life, you know. 
My dad got fucked with that three strike rule though. Mm. Yeah, he bought crack with me. Mm. So. That's uh, that's that's Brooklyn and them. So my, anyways, I know we're not gonna get on that. It's that's not why, sorry. yes, yeah. that's why when people are so like, easy to go down that route because yeah, people be like, how tin, do you feel? And just put my tinfoil hat on and be like, oh, but I'm not. I'm not gonna go there. Yeah. Shout just out, stay dad. Cool, stay calm. Democrats are like, Justin, are you a Democrat? I don't know. Ask my father. And then they'll be like, what the fuck do you mean like that? And I'll be like, yeah. Because like I, like I said, I don't know him, but I know of him. And he's locked the fuck up. And shit happens. And that's your fucking fault, Democrats. You think that three strike rule, no drugs rule is cool. You know what I mean? No matter what, what it, it could be a gram to fucking 20 pounds. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same fucking crime. Same, same felony. Crime, same you know what I mean? It's bullshit, same dog. Boat. But yeah. My sisters are tore up about that shit, yeah, but I, I'm just saying, that's that's fucked up. That's why when we get on that political shit, I just laugh. Like, I can see both sides, but in the same sense, both sides do stupid shit. Both sides are evil. Anyways, you see they fucking let all... This is our year. Out. That's why I keep saying that. What? Yeah, bro. He fucking got pardoned Did he get pardoned, too? That's he what I was just getting ready to say. Trump, bro. They let him out, bro. This is what I want to say to America. This is all I got to say about this Republican. And now, I would like to introduce you guys to Little Pimp. <laughs> that was the funniest shit ever. Then, that's all I got to say to you. So, that's oh, called a, give me good, my fucking G card, I a, bro. I got a great question for you. Do you think Little Wayne was wrong for what he did? Fuck yeah. Do you? I respect him for doing Do it. I, I respect mean, him. I respect look him for happened. throwing that his hat he, in the court. Oh, look! Look what he did. He put a sweater on. He put a hat on. He took a couple pictures and smiled. He had Would you put meeting. a dress on? He didn't put a fucking dress on. That's what they pretty much told him to do. No. Smile. Put some white clothes on. Shut up. Come in here. Anyway. Shake the hand. Get pardoned. Or go to jail for 10, 15 years. You can't be. <laughs> see, this is what makes me mad. You can't be either Daniel Hernandez or fucking. Uh, Who's, who's it's a Little Wayne at this point in time. At this way, yeah, at this a point Wayne. in time in Little Wayne's <sighs> life, he is no longer a gangbanger in every like. like I understand like, yes, that. He still holds weight in gang, but he's no longer doing hood nigga street shit. You know, he's 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 on the you know if your OG came back and now he owns half the block and half you know now he owns half the block and he fucking employs X Y Z and he keeps it tight. He's he's that. You know. But you're Rico but after on, me now. But on a huge scale. Yeah, you're Rico acting yourself. Come on, bro. That's just that's what cracks no, me up. But he's not doing anything. He but he's right? still some shit he yeah. Did. But some shit now he did he's pardoned. So what that means is his record is clean. So no matter like he could do some crazy ass shit, and it doesn't matter if he had the same fucking two strike felony from where he got it. He's clean. He could do it two more times. You know what I mean? Bro, this he got pardoned. That's that's. And pretty much that's like that's like diplomatic so are you immunity. Mad at him? Are you I'm mad not at him? mad. I res- like I said. I I don't respect the fact that I don't Wait. know. I, I don't know. I just yes, sir. I, I that's a yes, hard sir, question. Master. I guess yeah. Like, that's no. what I'm saying. I I just feel like he he you put a dress smart? on. Bro. Or do you think it's smart? It's a smart move. It. It's obvious. It, I'm smart and stupid are two different things. People think that stupid isn't smart, and smart can be stupid at the same time. Because if I decide, all right, if somebody comes and is like, hey, I'm going to give me all your money or I'm going to stab you, what are you going to do? Sue you. What are you going to do? Sue you. No guns involved. I understand. What do you mean no guns involved? I know we, I know we live in America. What do you mean? I'm just saying. You're fucking, you're, yo, <laughs> you, you go say, to the It's ATM my Second Amendment, right? You go. I, yes, I, yes. I, I, I can, I can bear a firearm whenever I want. That's and, a what if, though. And if you, you're asking you go to if, the ATM, you don't have your gun on you, okay? Give me your money or I'll stab you. What are you going to do? And so wh- you said I'm going to the ATM. So when no I, gun I, on you. Listen, Just, listen. Uh, I know, but I'm usually in the car. Uh, you're not in the <laughs> car. <laughs> Your designer hit me too I'm in the just, corner. He's I'm like, Jimmy's in the burner. I'm and I'm like, this motherfucker's over here talking about a burner. And this is just over here. Like, <laughs> I, he's beating into it, goddammit. Like, All right, so you get I'm out of your car. The you get I'm out of your car. You are in a walk up ATM for some fucking reason nowadays. Okay, because well, let's you just say up. we're in 1990. Yes, <laughs> whatever, dude. This is what I'm trying. 
I, I, look, man. Yes. All right. So I'm trying to give you my honest opinion. I, and these not, are, you're not wrong, though. I understand. So, so somebody walks up to you and they're like, yo, give me your money or I'm going to stab you. What are you going to do? Ask them if they want to find the money together because I'm broke. Yeah, well, real talk. Yes. So either way, you're <laughs> no, either. Man, so you got I'm two gonna options. You're going to give them money or not, right? Yeah. All right. So they also have two options. Now, realistically, this nigga just stuck you up by knife or gunpoint. I guess I could say that too, but by knife. And realistically, I I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna stab you. Like, there's there's no like <laughs> like, either, like like like, like real this talk. dude's gonna fucking I under- stab I you. Understand I understand you, you gave, gave me the money, money but, but I'm still gonna, gonna stab, stab you. you. You're going to be like, no, if I tell on this dude, <laughs> he'll fucking kill me. So. And, and oh, now and now on this, this is what I also tell the people that think they can fucking fight their way out of the situation because I'm also one of those ones like, bitch, I'll fight for my shit. Yes, but have you ever tried to take a marker away from a child? Think about that. Go up to your kid that's a toddler and, like, say they're writing on the wall and try to take the marker from them and try not to get marked on by that <laughs> marker. Try, try Now. And no, no, no. You got to think about it. And it's not just the tip. You got to think about, like, the little. Blade the blade's not, like it's this. not pointy on the blade. Yeah, it's sharp you know, you all the, the way side. down on the, to the hilt. To the hilt of that blade, it's sharp. So you're going to tell me that, like, I, I take Taekwondo or Jiu Jitsu, I'm going to. Ju- yes, yeah, so, yes, there are ways to disarm someone, but realistically, in a non perfect, like, instant, no you're, you're going to get stabbed in <laughs> some point away. So, either <laughs> way. The funniest thing, bro, you said. I know, I know you gave him the money, but, but you're going you're, to you get. You know, you're like seventy-five percent of a chance he's gonna still. Stab you. This is why I tell people, like, when I say I'm gonna kick you in the dick, <laughs> it's the minute I turn around and I'm like, the guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, and I turn around, he's like, give me all your money, and I'm like, bow, I'm kicking you in the dick because I'm not taking the knife. Right, I'm gonna Bobby. kick you in the dick. Hey, you don't know me. That's I don't my know purse. you. That's my purse. <laughs> I don't know you. That's my purse. That's my shit, bro. I don't. I, I don't give two fucks. I like, but that that that's also where I tell people is I'm like, you gotta understand that like it, people do what they do, they're gonna do it. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. People do what they're doing. They're, they're gonna, gonna do it. it. They're, you know, they weren't. They didn't give you, you a know, choice. I know that since I was knee high to a butterfly. Yo, for real. My mom always told me that, and I will shout out to my friend Libby's stepdad just passed away. Rest in peace, Eddie. Uh, old man Eddie used to say, it ain't, it, "Dude, it's not what you know, it's who you know." I'm just saying. You know what I mean? For real talk, it's just it's not what you That's know. That's blessing. So, another thing I've been wanting to talk about. Do you um, you been following along with basketball, basketball lately? I seen the one boy drop that fucking. He didn't drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's what I was wanting to talk about. Okay, yeah. So um. He did that on the Nets. Yeah. And the Nets have a big three right now. You know, That's what I heard. They got, uh, they got Katie, they got Harden. Kyrie, and they got Harden. Yeah, I heard. And um, a lot of the players Harden. on the Nets went to, to – or I think it might have been uh, the center went to Cleveland. Right? Yeah. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. Their ex-center went to Cleveland. And these last two games, back-to-back, they've been playing Cleveland, and they've been getting – you know, they, they've been losing. You know, yeah. The first game was close. Second game, they kind of got blown out. Well, I seen the blowout. Yeah, yeah. They got blown out. Well, I seen the last fourth yeah. quarter earlier. Yeah. And um, <laughs> that shit was that horrible. Shit's, that shit's bro. Horrible, bro. You think that's like just chemistry? You know, first couple games together type shit. You know, they got to go through a Coach Carter type shit. You know, still, you know, you got to make them make no. them run and or no. you think think about th- think about this you when think you go the, to the YMCA. Those, those youngins was think just about dogs. this when you go to the YMCA. You don't always go with all your friends and the people you're good with. You go and you get picked up, and you might have somebody you are chemist- you have chemistry yeah. with. But you end up getting picked up nine times out of ten when you, or I wouldn't say nine times, but like half the time when you go to the Y and you get picked up, you either win or lose. But the, it, it's 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 there's times. But what I'm saying is there's times when you get picked up and you know the chemistry. The chemistry is just sick. It's like you get picked up and it's like ooh, you go to ooh, you go assist. to cut and the dude just throws it behind the back and you don't even have to look and it just lands in your hand and the layup's right there. There's times where it's like that. And then there's times where you go to the Y and you get picked up a couple times and it's like you don't click with no one. And I feel like if that's what they're doing right now, maybe that's what that is right now. They're just not clicking with everyone. Maybe yeah. the just not just what arrangements they made now needs to happen. They need to switch it up a little bit more too. Like, how can I say it? I wouldn't say, like, switch it up 
or more or less. Well, I guess it's just a bad time. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just a bad time. They just got lucky. You know what I mean? That's, got got to where they know, were and got lucky. Yeah, and it's like but they beat them back watch back. them. Yeah, but then watch them next year back. not do shit. Now if they let's like sell, think about the Celtics sometimes. Like with the Celtics, they go to the fucking playoffs and then the next thing you know they suck for three years. Come the fuck on, dude. Like they had great chemistry for one year with Rondo or a couple years that's with Rondo all and they the people suck. Leave and they get old. That now maybe that's happening where they got lucky here. Like think about it. then they like even the Ravens, dog. Like the Ravens in football with them right now. Like they made it, they got lucky as shit and got in the playoffs, and then sucked ass, and then everybody was like, "Oh, Lamar, he didn't poop." That's that's literally what my friend said to me. He didn't poop. <laughs> I said, "Bro, they that, got that, lucky the Ravens, as shit." No, the like, Ravens have been getting lucky. They, I don't think the Ravens are as good as they're getting lucky. They're they don't have the defense they grew up on. You know what I mean? Like I grew their up offense on. isn't that good. Lamar's great. Lamar's all they Lamar's have. Lamar's great, but you know they don't really have. Anything. I respect Lamar, dude. Like, he does what he has to do to get the team where he needs to. But think about it. Vic did that, too, with the Falcons. You know what I mean? McNabb did it with the Eagles for years. Stat King. Stat King. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't. Like, I'm a fucking Eagles, a fucking diehard Eagles fan from Baltimore. Like, and it just, people hate me for it. And it's like, but I'm like one of the most non-ignorant, like, football fans. Like, I don't care. Like, people who like, Eagles fans are toxic. They really are. Oh, they are. Shout out to Philly. They like, riot when they I, I will never forget my. <laughs> they, they won the Super Bowl and they literally rioted. Well. And it was okay. Let me tell you, I, I grew up in there. the era where they went to the Super Bowl I and then lost by three points because T.O. decided to fucking hurt himself and some bullshit. But he did come back and decided do what he had to do. He broke his fucking knife. He did what he had to do. But there were all right. So he also he did, you cannot put that on T.O. <sighs> yes, but that whole year he brought a lot of fucking he did dumb he fucking could. shit to that team. Of course, that whole T.O. year when he he didn't play the whole playoffs until that game. That was his, his that first game back was the Super Bowl. His that his first yeah, game back he, he did not play. Leg. Played he San Francisco leg. and then, yeah before the play or in the first playoff game. And then he didn't play until the Super Bowl. He's, yeah. He wasn't even supposed to play for the Super exactly. Bowl, but he played. But what I'm saying is I feel like if they wouldn't. We ain't built the same. Yeah, I, I, I feel you. We ain't built the same nowadays. I feel you, dude. Yeah, because there's not a lot start, of players that would do that. You think that. they're going to start uh, Patrick Mahomes? Nah, he was he's on a franchise, uh, though. Well, he, if they no, want to win, was, yeah, then. Yeah, he was man, on um, start him. concussion protocol. They'll start him if they want to win. I, are they going to be able to start him? I don't know. That concussion protocol is, like, crazy now. Mm-hmm. Ever since that I movie. I think it's, like, 10 days, maybe. And it's not 10 days. It's a week type shit. I don't uh, – see, I don't know how they're going to do that because, like, yeah, if you have a concussion, now you're going to, like, start your quarterback. Now, see, is he in – now, what's he on? Did they put him on IR or did they fucking – No, they haven't put him on shit. <laughs> It's he's, funny. It's he's still, still questionable. Active. It's still questionable no, he's and active. active. It's he's not active. even questionable. They don't want to put him on. It's, he's it's not funny. Fucking, they're not that gonna. Everyone's laughing like there's no way he's going to be active. Woo woo. He's still active. He's <sighs> See, that's. I don't know, man. I feel like they'll push him, dude. It's like putting shots of Demer on fucking dude's legs. You know what I mean? Shit, I grew up in that era. Fuck out of here. He'll be all right. They might play. I don't know. See, they the, sometimes with their franchise players, they don't want to ruin it, man. But then again, like I just said with T.O., like he was like he said, you ain't built different. They're built different. Like he played, even though he started all that drama that I am talking about. He did fucking play the Super Bowl. They lost by three. It's cool. But then they ended up winning. You know what I mean? A couple years. Well, shit, uh, a couple years decades. Later. But my friends used to laugh because I never like people like I don't I don't know like Philly fan. Like I said, Philly fans are fucking crazy, man. And. I I've never been that toxic Philly fan. I'm I've always been like, oh, sure. there's always next. I'm dead ass, bro. You'll never find. I guarantee you. Even if you went to my old fucking Facebook on Timothy Elliott, there's not a. There's you, know, and he's <laughs> following me, bro. What the fuck? I was Timothy? like, yo, why are you looking at my page? I don't remember my password. I didn't get in there, so who's on there here looking? At it? Like it's crazy. But I I've never had like a toxic conversation about the Eagles. Like, and if I do, I walk away from it because I just feel that. My team let me down so many times. I know Jalen what let down feels. Jalen Hurts is in the clouds. Well, I was in the Andy Reid era, and then this motherfucker goes to Kansas City and wins Super Bowl. And he had McNabb, Thrash, fucking Troy Vincent, Brian Dawkins, fucking Deuce Staley. And then my friend used to fucking tell it my friend. It wasn't Andy Reid's fault that he didn't. It was not Andy Reid's fault. It was he the. Never put a, like, he never did a Pete Carroll situation, bad, bad coaching. It was know, the management. You know, Pete Carroll, it was the you know, he threw the ball. 
instead of running the ball oh, and yeah, tossing yeah, yeah, the Super Bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Andy Reid never did no stupid ass shit like that. No, Andy Reid will take a fucking chance. He might have went, I know, but yeah. it was it was never like it was never on. It was never I a, some stupid. It was never a stupid ass. Yeah, chance. yeah, yeah. It would be like Andy Reid would run that fucking ball until he it, fucking yeah, made it. Yeah, he's gonna do. And you know, that's I'm what, at the one yard and line. And that's what made run. me mad. How the fuck did the Eagles not win a Super Bowl with Andy Reid? And then he goes to Kansas City and wins. But then we get, you know what I mean, fucking Doug Peterson, and we win a fucking Super Bowl. And this That's dude's the, fucking... The reason you... The Doug Peterson was the only coach... But he was ever. bringing he was the only Kansas coach City you, back, though. He w- Doug Peterson was the only coach who could bre- beat um, yeah. them that year. Yeah, real The talk. Patriots that the year? The Patriots, yeah. Because think about the playbook they did and all this Oh, they ran crazy, that wildcat you know. fucking... I cannot use the Eagles now because I'm, like, the last time I played Madden, like, seriously, even and when I played, do you remember? I was like... And then Yo, where's the eye formation? And you were like, bro, they run like split backs and wildcats. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, I should have picked balance that way. I got the eye for me. Because I'm so used to them running the eye formation with like Andy Reid. No, Doug Peterson runs that college mm-hmm. shit. But that's what helped Kansas City when he was with them. Like they were, you know, in the defense. They have, He's good with their defense. But now it's like, I don't know, Carson Wentz, I'm just tired of him. Yeah, like, I, I never was a fan of Carson Wentz. He's not Wentz. anymore. Jalen Hurts is. Obviously. But I've Oklahoma, never been. When they got rid of Alabama. Foles, that was the biggest fucking mistake they made. Like, I yeah. understand Foles wasn't your. I hate that teams do that. Like, you keep him as your backup. And then you let him succeed on someone else. Like, and then, like, he has that. Ha- like, people piggyback off him, and it pisses me off. That's what makes me mad. Foles deserves way more credit than he's ever been given. That man won a Super Bowl for a team that hadn't won a Super Bowl in, like, fucking yeah. ever. They've only won championships since the Super Bowl has been. He's never, and he went nuts for Carson Wentz. And then you're gonna fucking say Carson Wentz is like rated 96 on fucking Madden. The next year, I was so mad. I was like, "What? (laughs) He was injured. What would he do? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, look, is he taking steroids? Why? What the fuck's going on, bro? Dick was he sucking? This nigga's a super saiyan, bro. He got hurt and then powered up, didn't he? This is how (laughs) this happens, right? And then the next two years, I'm like, super saiyan, my ass, you're a namic, you. Fucking you bastard. Got, fucking you got a goddamn fusion out. and then became a pussy. I told you to get out. Raise my kids. Like, I'm done with it, bro. I'm telling you, dude. Bro, I'm done with it. I'm so done with it, bro. But yeah, no, as an Eagles fan, I'm telling you, I know what heart, heartache looks like, and I laugh when my friends' football teams are like, oh, think about shit. how I feel. <laughs> think about how I feel living in Minnesota with these the Vikings. Vikings fans. Yeah, I feel bad for oh, you guys. Man. You guys had Randy Moss. I'm not, I'm not a Vikings fan anymore. I'm not a, when. When we traded Randy Moss the second time, I was like, get the run here. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, when he went to New England, I told them, and that was Super Bowl. I said, I I said the minute they were like, Randy Moss is going to uh, Oakland, and I'm like, all right. And then next Takes him to the Super Bowl. I'm like, and then he goes, all right, Randy Moss is traded to, uh, who'd he go to after that? I think, was it the Texans? It wasn't the Texans, was it? He didn't take the Oakland Raiders to the Super Bowl. Yes, he did. He was on there with Tim Brown. He was on there with Tim Brown. Uh, it was Randy Moss, Tim Brown, and uh, Jerry Rice against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and John Gruden. And they lost to John Gruden and Mike Oslot, the fullback. I might have to look that up. Oh, shit, I got you. Hold on. Tim Brown, Jerry Rice, and Randy Moss were all on the same team? Pretty sure. Tim Brown, the Tim Brown. He was back? a running back. No, he's a fucking receiver. Tim Brown was a receiver. Jerry Rice was a receiver. Randy Moss was a receiver. They had Charles Woodson. Really? I know Charles. The quarterback Woodson. Charles Woodson. No, he was uh, a, he was corner. A safety. No. Yeah, free safety. Free safety. Yeah. No, he's a quarterback. I'm looking it up. Look up. It was in the 2000s, bro. Hold on. Look up. Did Randy Moss take Oakland Raiders to Super Bowl? Randy. Because I do remember, I do remember John Gruden but with Damn, Tampa Bay. Is. He was in the Super Bowl one year with Oakland, mm-hmm. lost. And then the next year he went with Tampa Bay and won versus Oakland. So it kind of lines up. And I do remember Randy Moss being on Oakland. Randy Moss was uh, but I don't remember it was that 2005 late. going to Oakland. He went. When did he go to Oakland? 2005. I gotta look up 2005 Raiders. Man. Oh, Super Bowl 2005. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I could just put Super Bowl. There we go. Super Bowl 2005. I hate. 
I hate how Google does it. Like, I'll put in, like, Randy Moss, Oakland Raiders, Super Bowl, and then it gives me, like, this crazy-ass, like, buy his jersey. Do this. Oh, I'm telling you, just go Super Bowl 2005. All right. Or the or should I just do Raiders? Uh, no, Super Bowl 2005. All right. No, Super Bowl 2005 was... Uh, then do Super Bowl 2006. I think it's 04. I'm going to try 04. Why? He was in there in 2005. Be- that was the Panthers, right? Because I can't remember when the Eagles went. Because I feel like they went 05. Well, I'm going to believe Google over you. So, it just said... He was it was the Eagles. So, it's probably... Let me do Super Bowl Raiders and... Oh, I'm doing... Oh, it's 2005. Raiders, Bucks, Super Bowl. There it is right there. 2003. So that's not I want to see the. I need to see their roster, is what I want to see. So that was 2003, so I want the Raiders 2003 roster, is what I want. Well, if it just tells you he was traded to the Raiders in 2005. You're right. That makes me mad. You already know. So it was just Tim Brown, Jerry Rice. Yeah. But he did go to the Raiders. But that's what I was, yeah. I, I thought he was on the Super Bowl team with me. No. But he did do it, but he goes to the Super Bowl with the Patriots. Lose. But I don't know why you guys There's got no rid of him. No way that team lose. loses. That's what I'm saying. That's why I was a little shocked. Moss and Jerry Rice. Damn, they were eight team. Eight. I don't care how old he is. Fucking go out there and get the ball, Jerry. <laughs> Goddamn, get Jerry. the fucking ball, Jerry. Fuck, man. I think we're going to end this podcast. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting as hungry as shit. I got to cook that chicken. It's probably yeah, default yeah, now. All right. We out, y'all. Peace.